you remember this sentence? It was a revision, part of the revision exercise in uh, revision 1.2. I understand that it is not in your hands of the mistakes some staff members mm -hmm. make. And I'm putting this on the board. I wanted to talk to you about it for a few minutes because it drove some of you absolutely bad. And understandably so. It's an extremely difficult sentence to understand. Now, that doesn't mean it doesn't have some good things about it, amazingly enough. First of all, I understand. It has a subject and a verb. It's an action verb. The problem doesn't lie with that main part of the sentence, something that I emphasized in the flash lecture on uh, passive voice. But what it does have that's really confusing is this phrase here. It is not in your hands of the mistakes. Okay? This is, in you know, technical grammar terms, the direct object of the sentence, or should be the direct object of the sentence, and it's not. It actually comes between the subject, the verb, and the direct object. And that makes, should make sense to you. Think about, oh, well, let's say baseball. The subject is the pitcher. The verb is pitch. The direct object is to the batter. The pitcher pitches to the batter. Most sentences follow this basic structure. But the problem is, it is not in your hands of the mistakes. The object of I understand is actually mistakes. And look at all the junk that comes between that. So what the sentence should actually say is, I understand that the mistakes, and excuse my horrible, horrible handwriting, I'm trying to do this fast. So I understand the mistakes, okay, so let's take that out. Are not in your hands? No, it's still, it's still a problem some staff members make. I understand that the mistakes some staff members make is not in your hands. That's a more direct, a more complete sentence. I understand that the mistakes some of your staff members make is not in your hands. Look, we've got a problem right here. This is fairly common when we're revising a sentence not only do we have to take care of the main problem in the sentence, but after we've done that, sometimes we set up new problems. And here's our problem. Is, is a pro it refers back to mistakes. Mistakes is plural. Is is singular. Simple enough. Are. So the sentence reads, I understand that the mistakes some staff members make, that's what the squiggle up here is supposed to be saying, are not in your hands. Okay, now, because I'm a careful technical writer, I want to go a step further, okay? Because are not in your hands, well, that's sort of, you know, artistically interesting, but one of the things that we look for in technical writing is if we choose between artistry and clarity, we choose clarity, okay? One of the things that this sentence is trying to do is it's trying to tell the person that she's writing to, that she understands that he may not have control or she may not have control over mistakes. So let's go that step further and let's say, I understand that the mistakes some staff members make are not in your control. Much more specific. Okay. Now I'm going to go a step further and say, because not in your control is, is not as clear as I'd like it to be. So I'm going to say, I understand that some mistakes, that, or that the mistakes that some staff members make are beyond your control. Okay. You see how this works? That revision is an opportunity to take ideas that we've gotten down on the page and make them as precise as possible and focus them so that our reader, in this case somebody who's not responsible for mistakes that somebody else has made, can clearly understand it. To read this sentence one more time. I understand that the mistakes some staff members make are beyond your control. Much more direct, much clearer, and 
very precise. 